Hi everyone, Rune Cloak here, and today I'm playing a Fire Sworn deck. It's been a while since I revisited this archetype. There hasn't really been any reason to, like any kind of new cards that go specifically for like Fire Sworn. Um, and the last time they were a buff, they were just kind of introduced into the off the books deck. So I've come back to it, and I've made a non devotion version with Arendite, you know, a card I've been playing around with a lot lately. Um, and so I figured when I was making the dwarf deck, um, I was thinking of that kind of gameplay strategy, and it led me to Fire Sworn in the sense that, like, you want um, a couple good long rounds, and you usually want to try to either get a long round three, or, you know, try to 2 0 your opponent with a lot of tempo and just building up your swarm and things like that. And so it needs a good short round option, and Arendite can give that. Also, it needs control in the same kind of way as Dwarves. And we're up against Nilfgaard, big surprise there. Let's see what, let's see what we're dealing with. I know cultists are on the rise again, and so if we're running into cultists, I will need excommunication, which is kind of fitting. Also, Fallen Knights are really good against cultists, because they're veiled. Let's see, Congregation, I mean, we're going to be swarming any- there's not really a way to not swarm at this point. I don't think I need two Disciples. Jax is pretty good to have in hand, this deck doesn't then a whole lot. So you don't really want to be mulliganing our gold so much. All these cards could help me win the round pretty nicely. Okay. We're on red coin, so we can see what we're up against first. Alright. This looks like a hand that can challenge round one. This makes me think it's rent free. Or it's Trist Meteor Showers. Although maybe not rent free, it's got Cal V, so it could be some kind of it could be the Tactus and Simulate assimilate deck that's around. So with that one they have a lot of control, so they could just turn you just this. Let's try... Uh, let's... I want to get ahead. <laughs> but let's just open Disciple for now. Okay, we get to hear all the great Firesworn voice lines, which are some of the best. Okay, Diplomacy. So there's a few crimes that could answer this. But that's not one of them. They're just copying me. It's so weird. And this could just be an assimilated deck too. Alright, let's play a Fallen Knight. Get that going. Lieutenant Von Hurst is a strong card. It's also one that they may want to copy. Okay, they got a Duchess. <laughs> okay, look at their spawn synergy. This is ridiculous. Health guard. Why are you like this? Alright. Hmm. Let's play Von Hurst. I want to contest this round. So now we're getting three points a turn passively. I want to pull ahead here. So we don't know that they are the tactics version with um, Stefan. That usually just adds like I think Stefan and Helga to kind of a more general assimilate type list. And we need to bleed out stuff like that, especially I can go I can play all the cards in my hand except for Jax. Jacques. It can almost be worth it to just Alright. I think it could be worth it to just um called DSA right on that. But I don't think I need to do it yet. Let's play this and we don't use the tribute. So we just get three it's a lot better rate of spending here. So we get three six points a turn. Or no we get three this turn and three next turn. So hmm if we do this, yes, you. Have you made your and offer? this, we're actually ahead now. Well, if they passed, I'd be ahead. Okay. It's funny, I feel like I need to play Lady of the Lake on the back row to play DSRA, but I'm so used to um, 
face. Virgo. Seats melee locked. Okay, there's a Vilgefortz. Oh, that's so bad. Okay. That was still... Alright, let's get the Fallen Knight back. can't believe they did that. So my deck doesn't spend a lot. And look at all these other bronzes. I have Auric would have been the other. I guess I have a lot of non-unit cards. So it's never still getting another six points. So let's just get, make it more. Nobody expects the Nova position. Okay. Let's Alright, so we're ahead. If they pass. Another four points here, plus another three, another seven points. Okay, killing him so they can kill my other units. So I can make them go a card down here, but it's just... I'd rather just play DSRA. It's my first one. That'll get me ahead by a lot. And now I don't want to play this other Fallen Knight at this point. It's poor Iron Knight. It's okay. So we got rid of you. Just boosting everything. Alright, and then we get some passive points. Nice. This is the best card for them double cross, probably in this whole game. Well, not necessarily. Okay, so I won an even. Pushing Erudite to two. I committed a bit, plus Cyrus, which I didn't, I didn't actually commit. They just stole him from me. Alright, so they do have Tourney Joust in the deck, so I gotta be careful about the Fallen Knight. Okay. Smuggles decent with these kind of cards. Probably they want like Auric. Sacred Flame is really cool. Okay, maybe I could bank for Auric. Disciple is great to have. Alright. We can kind of just trade some of these. Let's just have Resilience. I mean, that'd be so strong, but you know, it's, it should be a location. At least it's a Firestorm card now. Alright, Aerodite's at 2, so we can kind of push this around a little bit. This. Get some value out of it. Erudite's at three. Okay, they're playing Rune Mage. Amnesty would be good for them. They don't have Amnesty in hand, or they probably have just played it naturally. Definitely a few options to answer this. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna ki kick their potential for an option down the road. Gets a raise, okay for them. Another fight? What the heck? That, that's wild. That's bonkers, honestly. It's not, I mean, it's a good card for sure. But just like the fact that they rolled it from two separate Imperial Diplomacies. Also, they got the Diplomacy from the Runestone in this um, version. Jax is a 10 for them. Okay, they're gonna coup that. Is that they coup, I don't think they coup round one. Yeah, it was first coup, right? Okay, yeah. And they played Vilgefortz, too. Alright, so... Let's see. Let's see. This plays for four, five, six. Doesn't give me a head. Don't play this yet. I just play Congregation here. Let's see. Jax from Double Cross is doing anything. Bank is okay, but they are, have all their golds in hand. There's Brathens. Okay, they're gonna go for a Fallen Knight, stealing my strategy. Okay. And this plays for 6 tempo. Let's see, Bank, I might want to save. This is at a 5 now. Can't answer anything. Can answer this, so this. I might just play this. Each of these are worth three. I'd have to use both to get ahead. Just one more point, Aaron Dite. Hmm. Then I can kind of just click this, play DSRA, and then try to just leave the round. Hmm. It's only worth one more point, Aaron Dite. This is. Hmm. I think it's worth it. 
trying to get carry over here. If they have a squirrel, it's not in hand. Silver and projects in both rows, which is good. Alright. Played around Torturer decently. Okay, now they're gonna bank. Okay, they're playing DSRA. Let's see. Let's see how far behind we are. I mean, I have this to click. I have bank to play. Okay. So this is... Five points here, four points here. So that's nine total. Put spying on this. What? They didn't spy anything round one. So... Nine. This is worth three. Plus ten. So 13 plus, that's 22, so that does give me a head by a bunch. And then I don't play bank yet, although if I bank into something like congregate or excommunication, I'm going to do that now. Okay, this is what my hand looks like. This is not working out. Heat wave is like a 10. Damnation's interesting. Damnation would have to be on a 2, which puts... Hmm. Hmm. We can do this. Okay. So we shuffled out the deck so we don't have Heat Wave or Arendite to draw right now. We play the top card. Hmm. Signs you still have- okay, there's Stefan. Kind of isn't able to kill things nicely. They have- okay. Nice. So, hmm, this gets me ahead by one. Aaron died at eight. I don't think I want to trade Jax for- Terranova though, unless they mulligan Terranova, but they played all their other golds, so I don't think they did. What else do they have? Okay, Invo, right? Alright. So this plays for 12, 17, it doesn't give me a head, and I'm trading my biggest card. Plus their Terra- well, yeah, the Terranova's like a- Terranova's really weak right now. So we'll just pass here. So they draw into Coup, Fallen Knight. And I think maybe they kept this for round one. Otherwise, they're drawing into like five and four provision cards now. That's a lot of provisions. The stuff they played. Arendite was on top now. Some heat waves decent too with last say. Smuggles not really needed. This is like a five. Okay. Smuggles, I guess, still like a six. Aura could have been a brick though, to be fair. With this kind of mulliganing. Also, getting this other smuggles is kind of fine. Play Jax late. You can smuggle Arendite early, that's nice. Okay. So they do have that. They didn't play with Ramon though. So if they have like slave drivers, also not gonna be anything bigger than a 10. They mulligan my Fallen Knight. Just play on interactive. Hopefully this doesn't die. Even then, I just play Jax first. Okay, they have to play Terra Nova. It's just an 8. Yeah, they get the token. <laughs> So now I smuggle. I think we're just fine here. Especially if they kept Ku. Okay, the answer that I played two things on that. I get to do this. And then I have Jax for 12, 17 point finisher. And there we have it. <laughs> nice. So that's just stuff and assimilate. So you can call that. Cool. Exactly the plan. Let's go again. <laughs> they even milled my Cyrus. If they didn't mill my Cyrus, I'd have had Cyrus round two, which would have been awesome. Okay. Yep, good game. Alright, now we're up against Brella Tactics. That's gonna be a little rude. They can. I mean, they can kind of kill my tokens. They can do four damage, though, easily. So I gotta protect stuff. I should protect Von Hurst. Okay. That's just... Mm. 
Honestly, killing my stuff should be awkward for them. Clear to the Flaming Rose, Smuggle. Mm, smuggle could be okay. I have a lot of golds in hand. I don't want to mulligan my golds. Actually... Hmm, what would I mulligan here? Not you, not you. I might have to play Vonhurst. This... I kind of need coins too. Should I play Vonhurst to like, transform? I mean, I'm not going to have that many. Alright, well now I do. <laughs> it's a weird hand. Also, we're gonna have to get ahead of Saskia. Okay, we're in Therion, so I just need six points to get ahead here. Is he a cleric? He is, nice. So, Priest plus Leader Charge does it. It also makes him weird to Leader. This is definitely a deck I want to bleed to. I don't have access to Heat Wave, but I do have Heat Wave in deck. Oh, didn't draw any Fallen Knights, I didn't draw Ulrich. This could be good if they like pass ever. I need some tempo. I mean, it's only 8 points, but still. Alright, so the Cursed Scrolling. And there's the Saskia. Okay, so I need 8 points to get ahead. This plays for... Yeah, this plays for enough to get ahead. Oh, but now they can... Hmm, now they can set up death blows easily. So you play this on an off turn. Nice, my hand is awkward. Although they can just kind of think ahead. Let me play this right now. This should be the same. I'm actually fine to commit a lot here if needed. Winning round one is really important. Okay, first leader charge on that. That's not really worth it for them. Maybe they don't use their Elven Swordmaster though. Well, they do. They're just weakening that. Hmm. Okay, Dwarf Berserker. Hoping to ping that once. Okay, <laughs> that was lucky, but it's fine. So... I don't think I can get ahead in one here. Erendite's at a nice two points. Saskia's gonna work again. They could play an elf. Play Inquisitor for Cyrus carryover. So I really need to draw a heat wave this game. Okay. If my air knight was at four. This is a gnome comes a witcher, it's one of their worst options. This is okay. Six again, leader this, ping one of these, and then Nova come back. Yes, you have you made your offering. 
I want them to pass too. Okay, next turn I can DS Ira on the chameleon. Yeah, okay, they're just doing that to kill that. Okay. Use two leader charges this round to win on blue coin. Two harmony engines, plus they'll boost the bird. Okay. Oh, I see. How to try to play around that? Hmm. So, 27 points down. This place for 6, plus 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Not too far off. Hmm. Maybe I don't commit this though. Maybe they just pass here. Because if they pass, they don't get another thin on Sasuke, they don't click the chameleon again. Kind of okay with that. They did use two leader charges, as I mentioned. Okay. Her knight is at a whopping two. Is decent. Heat wave is great. Love to see it. Play congregation as a dry pass. This still gets me DSRA. See, I think I can contest in different ways here. I'm okay with this hand. I mean, I have a lot of my golds too. Orcs really the only card I'm missing. Also, Vivaldi Bank would be nice. But Excommunication, I can kind of, I can bank on. I think I'm gonna keep the disciple too. I have Von Hurst as well for some big points. Alright, so we're playing that. They're not committing to anything yet. So I don't think I, I panic or anything. Get ahead of the congregation. If they pass. They're not going to pass after playing Waters. They like to play Scenario here. If they are committing to like a 2 0 kind of attempt. Okay. They did that. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so now I need 12 points to get ahead. It's for six plus seven eight. This is Jax is enough. Let's see. Let's... Hmm. I could. Hmm. at six they could have another one of these. So I'll probably just do that. Aaron Knight's at three. <laughs> but I can probably keep ahead. Well okay if they play scenario I can't really keep ahead of that. I'm trading down nine points. Six points to get ahead. Congregation does it. Tend of Hurst also does it, but it's more committal. Just keep early ahead. Aaron Knight's at four. Play Sacred Flame soon too. 
Ooh, okay, there's a simless. Oh, this is in the back row for Bowman. Multiple options for this. Yeah, there's the archer. Ooh, double archer. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm not going to try to get ahead. I'm just going to play this sacred flame. I also don't have any clerics on board. Okay, mm look at them row stacking more than me. So rude. So clicking this and then DS array is enough. I also need a cleric on board. Okay. So we just do this. Not only does Fire Sworn anyway. Still have Heat Wave, we still have an excommunication. Aaron Knight's now at a nice 6 power, which is great. Didn't lose any cards, still two leader charges to their one. Okay. Their bird should be at like nine, I think. This can be pretty good. I mean, honestly, this hand's just like, it's like the hand. Let's see, I have bank for Arendite or Ulrich. Damnation, maybe. I don't really have coins, though, so both of these are just playing. Oh, well, excommunication could the other one, maybe. Alright. I think the hand is the hand. Okay, so... No, we don't play knight, right? It doesn't ever make sense. Alright, I think what we do... Okay, I need Ulrich in the top three cards, though. I think I need to play a, one of these first. Yes, you. Have you made your okay, we do miss Ulrich. Damnation gets me like a Fallen Knight. This just gives me more spending. This is kind of decent. It's out of six and can buff this on deploy. I want to be. Yeah, I don't want to be damnationing, I think. So coins are decently valuable. Okay. I need to save the other one for excommunication just in case. Actually, this should be fine. I think I used it with Fallen Knight. Ideally, they don't play Scenario this turn, so I could play Fallen Knight instead of having to Heat Wave. Kind of want to. So I might miss the sword. I still have an opportunity to execute communication. I guess I have to heat wave this turn. I actually will get ahead. I get three, two points here. So I need to play the Fallen Knight though, which is unfortunate. I need to play. I have a cleric too, so I need to play this soon. Might even consider it playing it next, just because it's an engine. And then I play Von Hurst. Hmm, when am I playing Fall Knight? Maybe I actually. Uh, this is. Depends what kind of engines they have. I have a second Ethereum, which is worth it. Okay, Weeping Willow. They're playing on the back row. Let's communicate that. But they don't. They have one. Yeah, they do have another poison. So I think I just play Von Hurst. Yeah, I'm thinking about the engines. The the See, I have four coins, eight coins, so... Hmm. so you can they, can, they can save this for Cyrus, though. So it might just be worth it to do... This. Well, if they do it on Cyrus, then they can't move this. I also got ahead doing that. Hmm. 
Cyrus, I just want at least two coins for this, but I'll always have two coins. Alright, they're playing the other poison. Definitely losing some. Our knight's a nine. Communication. Hmm. Why does it tell me these? How many more how many do they have anyway? Four at the most? Maybe five with a chameleon? So I think it's still worth it actually to try to go for Auric. Might be better to play this first. I don't have the cleric now. I see. I see the problem. <laughs> okay, so I need to play Cyrus next. Okay, just a dwarf berserker. Not too bad. Ooh. Okay. Well, let's fork them a little bit. Yeah, this. Okay, we're ahead again. I'm gonna get another one of these anyway. So I could just do this. They might have a heat wave too. Hmm. No, I think I save it in case they don't kill Cyrus. I kill like one of these two instead. They're almost definitely gonna use their leader this turn. Oh no, they can't. <gasps> A bricked Milva. Okay, so they're clicking on this anyway. I see. It's a ten. I could kill Milva. I don't have to kill anything. I have armor too. Okay, definitely last day of this. I'm gonna get more. Well, that's nice. So I actually have Cyrus still. I think Cyrus on one of these is just the best. So we always want a Cyrus. Nobody and then we want to excommunicate. So Arendite's a 10. This is a 6. Plus 7, 8. Arendite's always just more. Let's see, I can just put no points on my side of the board. I can get one extra point for killing this. Right, well, this is like a three. But again, I get, always get the extra points on this. So this gives me one extra point, I think. I don't think they have any other humans to play anyway. Okay. This is another. Okay, so Heat Wave on this. Maybe they have last. Hmm. I think they have their last cards are Heat Wave plus the bird. I think I win. Because the heat wave doesn't even get them ahead. Yeah. Okay, and then let's just get your dude. Yeah, I don't think they're birds. Seven, 19, especially with only two chameleon procs. And they're Sasuke being as it is. Yeah, it's a 12. Plus some harmony. Yeah, no, no way. They're way off. Alright, nice. So Ulrich was up top, too, if I had waited to play the Fallen Knight. But I don't think I could have done that. Just in case it wasn't there. Alright, nice. Let's go again. So far, we're two for two, beating up on Assimilate and Guerrilla Tactics Harmony. I'll say I'm liking this Firesworn. Heat Wave is nice. I don't think Devotion's necessarily worth it. It's like two points on Ulrich, which can protect an engine, but there are other ways to do that. Especially now, because your engines you want to protect mostly are like, well, yeah, kind of the Fallen Knights and the, like, the, what's it called? The Scribe. No, it's not the Scribe. I should know my own deck. The yeah, the 4 for 4. We'll look at his name when we start the game. We're up against another Double Cross. 
Saw the last one, but this time we're in blue coin though, so we can't win on even. But we should still be able to bully them. Yeah, I got a Veil here. Erendite in hand round one could be okay. Alright, we can protect stuff. I don't want to mulligan this. Damnation. You can get a fire, uh, Fallen Knight through this. I have all my Echo cards in hand, so we're kind of... Maybe we can mulligan this. There's a Fallen Knight, which is great. Okay, Disciple's pretty cool. Honestly, this looks like a good hand. He waves cute. Okay. So... The question is, do I... I think I can protect us with this. I don't really want this in hand so much. Hmm, maybe I do want to just play it like this. Okay, I have an idea. We do commit the Ulrich the and the Disciple. And we click. So we can buff this to six and then damnation it to create a Cyrus. Okay, the tourney joust. So we keep two tourney jousts in hand. Let's play this Fallen Knight. See if they kept two tourney jousts. Okay, no, they didn't. But they could get. There's a few crimes could answer this. Bloody good fun, assault, payday. Still mutagens. Let's not speak to them into existence. Oh, and this guy's the priest. He's just the priest. All right, they didn't get it. They got a firestorm card. Classic Nilf card. They see Firesworn, they play Firesworn, you know? Is that about monkeys and all that? Okay. So now we do... Mm. Yeah, we can better than anything. Let's just play this guy then. Yeah. Hmm. No, I don't play the real one, right? I wanna do I wanna do this. Oh I got the math wrong. Still pretty good. What I need an eight, right? Because it's eight plus eight plus four. I was thinking six plus six for some reason, not sure where I got that. <laughs> it's okay. Still pretty good. Alright, playing Emissary. They're probably just gonna pass soon. So let's just get some carryover. Let's see if they just pass on three. After playing three cards, they do. Alright. So. Commitment wise, a bit weird the way I played that. I wanted to do the damnation thing. Maybe I just wanted to do it more than it was worth it. Ulrich to Ulrich was how is Ulrich? Ulrich is okay. Alright, so Fallen Knight. We've got a Fire Inquisitor. Got one of these to transform stuff. DS arrays in hand. Fallen Knights here. Still good cards. Maybe I'm a Mulligan Heat Wave. I shouldn't get a lot of good value for it necessarily. And I don't want them to get it. Same with Cyrus, but Cyrus I could just play. And then they could spy Cyrus. Hmm, how do I play around them spying Cyrus? I could excommunicate him. Huh. Ridiculous. Let's just... Hmm. Let's play for like a 2-0 kind of hand. 
So we mulligan our some of our good cards. We're also breaking Lady of the Lake, but if we draw Lady of the Lake next round, we can mulligan an Echo card. Alright, so we just play the cycle here. And build a big Arendite. Head is the coup. Let's play a Fallen Knight. I can play my Echo cards this round. So again, I do want to push. Could have been worth to play the Inquisitor, but I kind of want to have him on a three. Let's find that out. Yeah, not winning on even isn't as fun. <laughs> Still, I think we're okay here. Stefan right away, so they're just gonna answer everything I have on board. Hmm. So I can still have a long round with Last Day. Yes, you. Have you made your offering? Twelve points up. I can play my echo cards though. Although honestly, they're kind of out of not out of steam, but they have to like start setting over setting up again. Always play Jax to pull ahead. The beast shall be born and the must be destroyed. Can play this here. Okay, now they're playing Kelvite. So they don't have all their best cards I now. They're lucky to have drawn this. Does get ahead? No. Had to use the leader charge. So play for what? Five tempo. Plus leader and clicking is good. I'm using leader on or invo on this. Isn't very cool. Bank would be good for them now. Be another card to play. Okay, sergeant, there's one sergeant. So I have three points already. Both these are playing the top three cards. Could see a heat wave here. Hmm, if we wait still. Ever faithful to Yeah, we're trying to get their leader. Okay. I'm gonna play on this jack, actually. I could answer this now. Still can get more points on this. Mm. Although if I do it now, then they can't get any more assimilate procs. Some of these cards can be good for them. A lot of these cards actually cut off the leader. So actually, I want them to leader. I want them to play good cards, so I should play these sooner than later. Because like, both of these cards will have them play their top cards of their deck. So we play this now. Hmm. Let's see what else they do. They already played coup this round. Okay, 
Raffins. They drew Raffins too. Okay. Still didn't click. I can't see their coins. So they played both sergeants. So in terms of what sergeants they have left, they're still not leadering. They don't think I can 2 0 them. What if they're right? Let's see. Yes, you have you made your offering. Hmm. So bank might be better. Okay, we have a brick, we have a heat wave, it plays for 10. Yikes, well I'm glad I shuffled this. So I just play the heat wave. And then is Brathen's gonna get more than three points? Artod, I don't think you're playing Artod. I don't think he is necessarily. Iron Knight's huge for next round. Alright, they play Bribery. I think it's Cyrus. Cyrus puts Brathens at 9. Oh, if they keep Leader though, I don't like that. <laughs> okay, they got one of those guys. I really want them to leader. This doesn't get them ahead. Does it? No, it does. It does because it's two turns. Shoot, so next turn they get. Hmm. So now I'm just trading this for one of their cards. Doubtfully, too. Especially if I have to play like Sacred Flame. Oh, they played this well. So they have another three, two points here. So they're 51 really. I'll get 46, so I'll need a 6 point card to get ahead. But even then I'm just trading Excommunication for one of their cards when I'd rather have it for round 3. Alright. Alright dude. So this Nilf card opponent played a lot better than the other one. I still have Terra Nova, which they're drawing into. So I have my Echo cards. I have Erendite, which I don't think will have any value for them. I think it's a base copy, so it's a zero for them. DS Array, I'm not really playing that many. It's especially art. Cyrus is in hand now, so Cyrus will take. Probably play better than I could. So the idea is to excommunicate into Cyrus. And just, you know, just be that, just be that good. Alright, it's also, that's okay for them. It actually is pretty good. They're playing Rune Mage first. Hmm, that doesn't really make sense. So that's an 8, so... Do this, and then we play... These are the words of it's not really needed to do this. I can mess up Q. And I could play this. It's worth one point on Arendite. I think it's worth it. Arendite's huge. Do they have an elastic invo? Probably. Hmm. They even have a way to, s to spend. No, they didn't get Cyrus. They didn't get access to Cyrus. Right, right. I played that. Alright, they have Jax. They're not even playing him yet. Jeez. You are not regret this. Oh, the freaking sergeant. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, now they're leadering. Why did they, did they cut Terra Nova? Maybe. They actually have a lot of high-powered gold, so... They, no, no, because they have torturers. So they're just, like, waiting. Maybe get access to Cyrus. 
Excommunication they can't play, so they have to play my... Yeah, this dude. So I played around their leader at least. Okay, so we'll just play this, because this is getting one point a turn. I mean, this could get two points in a turn, but this is definitely getting two points a turn. I mean, maybe if they coup one of these, I want the other one. I can't kill both of these guys. The idea is to excommunicate for Cyrus or for Lady of the Lake into DSRA. Okay, they info that. What? They know I have a big Aaron Knight. I did get Cyrus. Okay. Let's see, okay. These guys aren't going to get that much value. And I have still three coins to spend next turn anyway. I don't think I win this, but it's closer than you'd think. I can spend one of these right now. Mm. Yeah, it's no point transforming the next one. Alright, so I transform... Like a Fallen Knight? Or no, I transform one of these into one of these. For three coins. Three points. It's not great. I think I'm always spending out a one for one ratio. I should have like our Todd in a five point coup. Or a three point coup. No, 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 I can help it. They get Jack though. <sighs> He's not a cleric, at least. Them playing Cal in round two is actually really good for them. I wonder if it's better to go long round here. They just sign up to them. It's always worth it to spend. Yeah. Pretty far off. Okay, so... Let's see. This is... Ah, uh, this is a five, actually. So this is still... Worth it. And then we just play this big boy. Say, you know, Artod, you're not very cool. Alright. They still have to play their last card. I want to see what it is, though. They have one point here. Show me your card. Yes, thank you. Alright, I should have gone for a long round. Probably. Probably should have passed after Stefan. I mean, they're really good keeping their leader. It only played for... I guess it only played for five points here. Which I would have been ahead at that stage, but still. And then they have a three-point coup. Wow, it's super close, actually. So I think I played the round three well. I mean, it's eight points off. Hmm? Maybe keeping DSRA over, like... I wanted to have a proactive play, though. Hmm, I guess playing Cyrus earlier, like... Leader excommunication on the Cyrus right away. And then keeping DSRA in that kind of instance could have been better, potentially. It was actually winnable. I think if I played that round, like, I really played that round three like perfectly I think I could have been even winnable plus a couple you know each turn I played better too I could potentially get more points on Arendite maybe just having a little passing like a turn earlier in round three or, or trading one more one fewer powerful gold interesting matchup I overkilled round one by a lot yeah I kind of knew I did though too come to think of it playing Ulrich and Damnation Okay. Okay. So I could have played that better. Even that was that was winnable. And the other time I played against that deck, I, I destroyed them. So and that was a blue coin red coin difference too. Blue coin is better for Arendite, but red coin red coin's better for bullying round one. But interesting. I like this deck. I think this is a cool way to play Fire Sworn. I like opening up decks beyond, especially beyond their devotion kind of restraints. Devotion's an interesting mechanic, but it's just very underfleshed out, and the payoff is not really the, not really there, especially for Fire Sworn. Where like round three jacks is really good with the veil and also getting gaining coins per fire sworn card that's true Ulrich can be good with his devotion ability and then what else you have mutant makers which you're not really fire sworn doesn't really need coins like not that much where you're playing these kind of cards you'd rather want synergistic cards especially the when they buff the other fire sworn bronzes they made them really strong so 
But I think it's cool. Hope you liked it. You know, please like the video if you did. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.